Well, Miller isn't used to being in the spotlight, but after an explosion and fire closed the school, people from all over the state have been reaching out to help. Tonight, Kelland's Lauren Solick takes us back to the day the explosion happened through the eyes of those who witnessed it firsthand. February 2nd, 2022 is a day students in Miller won't soon forget, especially Briggs Rungi and Trevor Wordle, two juniors who were in the ag shop as the explosion happened. Well, we were running a chop saw, cutting a piece of metal, and all of a sudden we just heard a boom in the background, and we turned around and the fireball was in the ceiling coming down at that point. Everyone got out safe, but now the shop is blackened by ash. We just grabbed the fire extinguishers, tried putting it out, and it just kept getting bigger and bigger as we and kept we spraying them on. The building. I pulled the alarm, and at that point, I ran back in to make sure Mr. K got out, and he was just getting out as I went back in, and we just left after that point, and about that time, the fire chief showed up. Stress levels were high for first responders as they made their way to the high school. Well, when the page first came through, I was like, oh, maybe it's a false alarm, you know, because we've had them there before, and then when our other chief said that he could see the smoke over the radio, then kind of started hitting home that this is serious. In a town of less than 2,000 people, this type of incident isn't common. It's usually cropland and, you know, car wrecks and stuff that we have. And then to have the school to start on fire that I actually graduated from kind of <laughs> gets at the heart a little bit. Now students are finishing up the school year in nearby churches as crews work to make the school safe again. In Miller, Lauren Zolik, Kelloland News. The superintendent of the Miller School District says the ag shop will have to be torn down and rebuilt. She says the school's kitchen, which is right next to the shop, was also destroyed. Now, all ceiling tiles have been removed throughout the building so that crews can clean the heavy smoke damage.